Peace, peace, family. This your boy, Young Pharaoh, and you are now watching Crumb TV. This is Daniel, LOL, JK, and you're now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. Watching Crumb TV? You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Miss Diva, and you are watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. This is Lady Lee from Las Vegas. You are now watching Crumb TV. I love this shit. I'm watching right now. This is the real Remy Brad, and I support Crumb TV. This is IG No Flex Zone. You are now watching Crumb TV. Hey, this is Reggae Boy, and I'm watching Crumb TV. And you're now watching Crumb TV. <laughs> What's up? This is your brother Walsh Red, and you're now watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. You're watching Crumb TV. This is Prema Asset in Los Angeles, Lemur Park, and you are now watching Crumb TV. You are watching Crumb TV. We're watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. So subscribe. Look. I am the Grand Sheikas uh, Unity Temple Number 80 More Science Temple of America, and you are watching Crumb TV. Yo, this is that kid 179. You are now watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV. Brother Red Pill representing No The Ledge, one half of the Twin Pillars. I am here rocking with Crumb TV. No, you are watching Crumb TV. You can find me on Crumb TV. You can catch me on Crumb TV. This is Chief Kalanako here on Crumb TV. I am Joy Allen of the Memoirs of a Karmic Dynasty in the Crumb TV studio. Now, honored to be on your program, brother. Peace. Peace. Crumb TV. Hey, you are now watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV. Hey, we in Chicago, y'all, and y'all watching Crumb TV. It's your brother, Tim Buck, too. I say. You are now watching Crumb TV. You in Scottstown, fine. Jim Inglewood, always up to no good. Man, I'm telling my brother Crumb. You're watching Crumb TV. I'm your humble brother, and you are watching Crumb TV. Reporting live from the Wild Hunt in South Side Chicago. And you're now watching Crumb TV. And you're watching Crumb TV. Crumb TV, baby. Hey. Crumb. TV. If you could, please repeat after me. Peace. Ashe. Islam. Namaste. Grand Rising. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Bum dia, Oseo, Halito, Wagwan. What up, though? Sak passe. So stay woke. Bonjour. Dua, Dua Wu. What happened? Whatever the greeting is in your respective language, I am your humble brother Crumb, the master student. And this video is called The Eclipse and Missile Launch Live. That's right, family. We're going all the way in. We're going to watch. They're going to launch this effing missile and we're going to live stream this jank. They're going to walk. They're going to launch that missile. There's going to be three missiles that are going to be launched and we're going to watch all three. If they thread this needle in the year 2024 and we breach the firmament, y'all better not say nothing about NASA. 
y'all better not say nothing about if they break the firmament today any one of those three apat rockets break the firmament y'all better not say nothing about nasa you better give every german <laughs> mayback music But before I get into all of that, family, I want to do what I do best, and it's put some respect in your name by acknowledging the first responders. Within the first five minutes, there's more than 150 first responders. Never had that many ever, but we are on several different platforms, uh, X, YouTube, the new YouTube channel, YouTube University. I see all of y'all over there. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Of course, we're over there on Facebook. More people on Facebook than have ever been on Facebook. Usually, there's not many people. That not many. This not many. That not many. I don't even know how to say it. But anyway, they over there. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. And of course, we're on uh, Twitter. Uh, but yeah, with that said, uh, the perfect trifecta, the first three people in the room. Number one is Ahmad L. He says, peace, family. Put some respect on his name. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Number two in the building of this perfect trifecta is my sister. And she is such a cutie patootie. It's Andrea Monique. She says, peace, crumb. I'm saying peace back. I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Number three in the building of this perfect trifecta. And I do want to emphasize perfect. It's, uh, it's on to on. It says, Wagwan, I'm moving but I'm here. Brother, I appreciate that so much. You could be anywhere doing anything. Uh, I'm glad you're tapping in. So, um, you know, I just want to put some respect on the family's name, uh, acknowledge y'all. Uh, so yes, uh, we're going to watch two live streams today. Um, we're going to watch this live stream, share screen. Um, this is NASA. They're going to launch these three rockets from Virginia. Um, let's see how that goes. Um, and we're also going to watch this other live stream. It's uh, it's actually live right now. This is uh, NASA. They're going to track the eclipse, while the other one is going to try to uh, attract the uh, those rockets and thread the needle through the firmament. <clears throat> you know, I'm curious to see what happens with that. Uh, well, let me see if I can just kind of share this screen one more time to get these two things together. There we go. Okay, so that's one, and that's the other that hasn't come on yet. As soon as this thing come on, I want to see what these uh, these people saying. Uh, you know, see if I can catch a lie because I'm sure somebody lying somewhere in this jank. Uh, and I want to actually uh, let me hit play on this. Uh, so. Oh, that's, that's, I'm trying, I'm sorry. Let me try to bring up to the most current, whatever. So this is, this BS, all of this is BS, but uh, I'm not going to go there. Let me, let me pause them. But yeah, uh, with that, yeah, they, they the, the, the matrix is glitching already. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, I want to say this family. So, so we're having a solar eclipse. And I want to be 100% clear, when we're dealing with the solar eclipse, the moon is getting in front of the sun. That's the idea. So with the solar eclipse, the moon is getting in front of the sun. And today is moon day. Today's Monday. Today is the day of the moon. Today's moon day. Today is Monday. And today, the moon will cover the sun, allegedly. So uh, I found that to be very interesting. I want to also point this out. So they're saying that, let me go on the other one. They're saying that they're going to launch these three rockets 45 minutes apart. They're going to launch these three rockets. And these three rockets are going that they're going to shoot these three rockets at the dark spot. Is the dark spot because remember, a lot of people are calling this a black sun, a lot of people are calling this a um, uh, call, I think I think they're calling it an, an uh, X point, X point NASA, X marks the spot images. So, what's going to happen today? is 
there's going to be an opening. Some people call it the black sun. Some people call it, you know, X point or whatever the case may be. But there's going to be an X point where, because there's several different layers of the firmament, of the sphere, the atmospheric layering, protecting us from whatever's on the other side. And there's holes in it. And every once in a while, they cross paths and that hole makes an opening called an X point. That X point is going to allow whoever's inside of the dome to go outside of the dome. They're going to try to cross the threshold of that X point, thread the needle, and take one of these APEP rockets, zoom like a Yamaha, chromed out, 1100. I'm just joking. I was listening to that song today. <laughs> but they're going to try to uh, flee. That's that's what people say in Virginia when we're about to leave. I'm about to flee. Uh, so, well, in my part of town, 757 stand up. Yeah. Um, but, uh, well, I'm not even in the 757, but yeah, 757 still put some respect on it. Yeah, uh, they're going to try to thread this daggone needle. And if they do it, I want to see if they fail, which I'm going to tell you on my side, there's a 99% chance they're going to fail. You don't have enough power. It's And, and remember, this whole thing is going to be happening in four and a half minutes. The whole thing is going down within a span of four and a half minutes. And let me clarify, family. There is a total solar lunar eclipse every 18 months. Don't let these people lie to you. There is a total solar eclipse every single, uh, uh, every 18 months. What is special? Oh, yeah, this is my brother, uh, Patrick. Um, it was actually his Earth Day. Put some respect on his name. If we could uh, wish my brother a happy Earth Day, um, my good brother Patrick, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Suffolk VA stand up. Um, but yeah, with that said, um, the only reason it's special is they're saying, oh, the solar eclipse only the last time it happened was in 1878. The last time it happened, it was in 1878 in in effing Ohio, okay? 1878 was the last time you could be standing in Ohio or in Virginia and shoot an effing rocket. In, in 18 months, when we have another solar eclipse, unless your ass is in Singapore or somewhere like that, it's not going to be a big deal. But if you're in America, then no, you're not, you're, you, you, Mr. and Mrs. Ego aren't going to have it until another however much time span. But so, solar eclipse happen every 18 months. Let's not make this bigger than what it really is. Let's 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 be real. The only reason it's a big deal is because it's passing over America. And America, it's press zero 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 if you understand America itself is an experiment. <laughs> America itself is just one big experiment. So why would these people who are a part of the experiment not want to experiment themselves? The people created by God want to play God. I, how many movies have they have they, you know, done this with? This joint is an experiment and they don't even know if it's going to work. They tried this experiment October 14th of 2023 when they first launched these three rockets that we are now waiting for 45 and 45 minutes. They're going to go live and talk about how they're going to launch these three effing rockets. Solar Eclipse sounding rocket launches from NASA Wallop Flight Faculty official broadcast. Right now, there are 10 thousand people waiting to see if these jokers are going to thread that needle. They've got three rockets called the APEP rockets. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on two seconds. Yikes.
that was a semi-important phone call. I ain't going to lie to nobody, but I told him, listen, I already George Bush the button. I've already George Bush the button. I'm live. I'm committed. Um, but with that said, the whole thing with America is we're running an experiment where we're going to launch three rockets called APEP, which is a very interesting name. Now, here, let me just make sure that we're all on the same page. There's the name right there. It's called an APEP rocket. Why is that important? Well, here, oh, I'm sorry, wrong button. Well, here, let me help you out to understand uh, APEP. Not APEP. Stop playing with me. APEP images. Tell me, look, press, we already did 000. Press 111 if you see an eclipse behind APEP. What are you guys talking about? Press 111 if you see there's an eclipse behind APEP. What are you talking about, guys? APEP was the Egyptian villain. APEP, APEP was the bad guy in the story. APEP was the was the serpent energy that was going to fight the uh, the sun god. I'm not uh, family. Somebody had criticized me. Crumby dealing with ancient knowledge too much. It's not me dealing with ancient knowledge. It's them. I'm just don't kill the messenger. Jeez, Louise. I'm just like I'm. I'm sitting here like, hey guys, you can't make this stuff up. It's not me. I'm not making it up. APEP is the daggone bad guy in the movie, the Egyptian old school movie. It says APEP uh, was the ancient Egyptian deity who embodied darkness and disorder and was thus the opponent of light. APEP was the opponent. Why did these jokers name these daggone rockets APEP on a solar eclipse where you're trying to thread the needle at the sun's weakest point. You can't make this ish up. It's like we're living in some type of cloud world and everybody's a zombie but me. You can't, you can't not, don't play like you don't see this family. This is crazy. This is Ash Raw Quasi. That's a, I'm picking on Ash, peace and love to Ash Raw Quasi. Uh, but his last name does sound like a Haitian person saying crazy. You Quasi, Ash Raw Quasi. Uh, but nonetheless, yes. So now APEP is the name of these three daggone rockets that they're going to try to shoot during an eclipse. Okay, got you. Got you. And let's not try to make this solar eclipse thing bigger than what it is. Solar eclipse is happening all the darn time. They happen all the time. It's just now it's going to happen over America. As of October, the APEP rockets, they tried to launch them October 14th, 2023. I don't know why these people are telling. APEP rockets were first launched October 14th, 2023. There was a solar eclipse. October 14th, 2023. I don't know why these, this solar eclipse is so rare. It only happens once every million years. Really? It only, didn't we just have a solar eclipse October 14th, 20, six months to the day, to, the, to this day, six months to the day, we already had a solar eclipse and y'all forgot that quickly. Now y'all walking around talking about, we only have solar eclipses every million years. Somebody please pinch me and wake me up. This clown world is crazy. They tried to launch and thread the needle of those three reptilian APEP rockets through the last solar eclipse we had that I obviously everybody forgot about. And then everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. Oh, Crumby dealing with the, the old school information. It's all right. Well, why are they calling it? Why are they doing it again and calling it the same name? For me, it feels like Groundhog Day that none of us are saying anything about October 14th when we just had our last solar. Oh, the last solar eclipse. They only ain't no needle. Family, I'm going to block you. Family, pre it, you can't be. When I say thread the needle. 
Oh my God. When I say thread the needle, that's not literal. That's figurative. If y'all don't get past fifth grade, <laughs> that's, that's figurative. Anyway, with that said, today is Monday, the day of the moon. They said that they're going to launch this rocket to see if the daggone uh, uh, solar eclipse is going to interfere with daggone internet service and phone service. Family, let me ask you, do you know what Verizon Wi-Fi, I'm sorry, Verizon Fios, what does Fios stand for? When they say Verizon Fios, what does Fios mean? Fios. Where, where did they get that word from? Is it just a, a made up word? Does Fios mean something? What does Fios mean? Fios stands for fiber optics. Fios stands for fire, fiber optics. How is this eclipse going to mess with the, with the, with the, with the internet service? So I'm just guessing if you got Verizon, you don't have to worry about this. Because at last time I checked, the whole world was running through fiber optics and it was this big wire running under the Atlantic Ocean. This whole thing is just a, 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 a narrative so that they can give you something so that you don't have to see what the daggone Wizard of Oz is doing behind the curtain. Yeah, Fios, F-I-O-S. F-I, fiber, O, optics. Fiber optics. But nonetheless, so yes, I just find the whole thing to be very funny that they're even doing this. They're even calling it this. They're putting up these crazy things to try to confuse us. And then the whole, th oh, it's only happened. No, this only happened every million years. It happens all the time. And then y'all let these $5 Indians tell y'all, don't look at the damn, because somebody's like, oh yeah, demon's going to come out. Demon family, these things happen all the time. If demons were going to come out, they would have been came out. Y'all better get y'all diet Christians. I'm scared of the devil asses down. Sit down. So ain't going to be ain't no. I said, hey, family, why are you not going to watch it? Oh, because because of the devil, the devil, that's the devil. Y'all still believe in the devil family. If you don't believe in God and you can't believe in no devil, ain't no goddamn darn devil. For someone like myself, when you say devil, I translate that to boogeyman. When you say devil, I translate that to monster under the bed. When you say devil, you you know, family, the, the only devil that your ass that your butt got is the devil on your shoulder that looked like you. Anybody ever noticed the devil look just like you? Devil on your shoulder is you. Images. What did I say? Oh, double. Devil. Oh, crumb, if you watch the eclipse or the, the, the demons and the devils, the demons and the devils, the devil on your shoulder is you. What are you talking about? This eclipse is going to bring out the devil. Bro, you the devil. What are you talking about? The devil on your shoulder is nothing but you. Oh, the devil made me do it. The devil ain't make you do nothing. You did that because you a devil. Some days you good, some days you bad. Stop, stop over here ego tripping like, oh, it was the devil. No, I'm not the devil. Some family, you the devil. Some days you the devil, some days you you you, you beautiful. But some days you ugly. Ain't no devil. This eclipse ain't gonna bring out no goddamn devil. Ain't gonna be no devils, no demons, no bad spirits, nothing to worry about. None of that jive y'all talking about. 35 minutes and counting for the solar eclipse, rockets to be launched. 13 minutes and counting for NASA to actually come on. Anyway, y'all let these $5 Indians tell y'all don't watch the eclipse. Family, this is the thing about light. Not all light is good. Go back and watch Men in Black. Even the light will blind your goofy ASS. Go back and watch Men in Black. They use that light to blind your goofy tail. And throw you into a tizzy. Oh, well, in the dark, is it, it's dark from you can't see nothing. Yeah, just like the dark can blind you, the light can also blind you as well. So I don't want to hear all this stuff about how the dark is bad and how the light is good. Last time I checked, science said light is physical. Light is physical. 
last last time I checked, uh, they said light is physical. So if light is physical, the only thing that's spiritual is going to be the darkness. If light is physical, then the only thing that is going to be spiritual is the darkness. Don't go towards the light, Johnny. Don't do that. Now, all of this is that's the CGI family. See, this is the thing. Like, you know, I'm not no flat earth or nothing like that. But this CGI stuff, come on, family. Come on, family. These goofy, these goofy glasses and this CGI. These 3D glasses, this CG, stop playing with these computer generated images. Oh, Mr. Ovary Massager, that's right. That's all wise. You can go, if you're in like a snow desert, that daggone light will mess with your eyes and, and, and blind you. Y'all be talking about the light like it's all good and, and like the dark is all bad. Stop it. Come to the dark side. If y'all don't bring your tail over to the dark side. Let me see what they're saying. Oh, this is just stuff. I don't... But anyway, yeah. Uh, anyway, so now uh, back to what I was saying. Most people spend their whole lives in a state of perpetual darkness. M most Americans, let me say that. I can't speak for other people. Most Americans spend their life in a, in a state of perpetual darkness because if you don't go into direct sunlight, your pineal gland don't work. If you don't go into direct sunlight, and remember, light can't penetrate glass. Light do not penetrate glass. So I crumb, I go outside and your ass be in a car with the windows rolled up. Light can't penetrate glass. Light doesn't penetrate glass. Because of the way the atoms and molecules in glass interact with light, light passes through glass. Glass is, uh, what type of light can't penetrate glass? It's talking about here. UVB rays, the primary sunburn ray. I was told if 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 a Tamahu, I was told if a troglodyte, I was told if 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 a um uh homunculus lays in the sun directly in the sun, they will get sunburn. But if they lay in the sun and put a a um uh, a pane of, of glass on top of them, they won't get sunburn. If you put if 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 a tamahu, a troglodyte, a flugel rod, a homunculus lays in the sun, they will get sunburn. But if they put a pane of glass over them and lay in the sun, they won't get sunburn. Because that light that feeds you and I, it can't penetrate glass. Uh, different rays of light. Now, this one, UVB, obviously does not penetrate glass. But other rays of light can't penetrate glass either. If you don't st uh, stay, uh, step directly into the sun, your pineal gland won't jump like Jordan. Okay, this is, uh, let me see what they're saying. Hey, they're just talking some jive. More CGI, editing, editorials. These, the, these are not NASA scientists. These are reporters. These are, uh, um, these, uh, 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 what do you call the people who try to make you look good? Uh, the people that make you look good. These are uh, not marketing, but... Um, Public affairs, not public affairs, maybe public affairs. I don't know what you call those people. Anyway, that's who's talking right now. This isn't like no scientists and a PR, public relations. Thank you. Thank you. This is PR. <laughs> these, are, these aren't scientists. This is PR. <laughs> Crum, I've seen the scientists talking. That's not a scientist. That's the public relations dude. <laughs> I was watching. Uh, Crum, they're on. They're on. Crum, they're talking. That's not a, that's, that's the public relations dude that comes and stands before the camera. <laughs> That dude don't know anything in particular. <laughs> He's just a, that's the dude at the front, the front desk. Hi, yeah, do you have an appointment? Yeah, I'm Roger. All right, here, Roger, just write your name on the, hello, my name is Roger. And that's the guy at the front desk. That's not a fucking scientist. I'm sorry. That's not a darn scientist. All right. This, this, isn't this the same thing they had in, the, uh, who was, who was that movie? Didn't, that image they showed right there was the same spaceship from Hidden Figures. Press press 222, oh, wait, can I back up? Let me see if I can back up. That's the same image from Hidden fi That's the same one from Hidden Figures. That's the same one from Hidden Figures. 
You this is you using this in 2024? Stop it with this stock footage. Stop playing with me with this stock footage. As if I didn't see the movie Hidden Figures. Anyway, we 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 got 29 minutes until they launch these three rockets. Uh I want to say this. Most people spend their life and most people in America spend their life lux. Uh, luxury. Lux uh, is a uh, SI unit of illuminance. Lux being the root word of luxury. Because when, you, when you're dealing with luxury, that's your time in the sun. That's your time in the limelight. That's your time in the light. So lux is a unit of light. How do you measure light? You measure light in units of lux. So now this thing is a, is a light reader. Uh, this is no different than what your eyes do. Your eyes absorb the light. And let me ask the family this. After your eyes absorb the light, what part of your body measures the light? It, this yellow thing, there's an organ, uh, not an organ, but a, a part of your body that does the same thing and measures the light. What is the name of that part of your body? And go. Ding, 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 ding. I really need to get a, a ding, ding, ding sound thing because it made me look silly. <laughs> yes, light comes in through the eyes and goes to the darkest part of the brain. The darkest part of the brain is the reptilian part of your brain, which is the innermost core of your brain. At the innermost core, the darkest part of your brain is a um, pineal gland that is that is if if it is not calcified then it is covered in crystals it is covered in um what are these type of crystals called uh piezoelectricity piezoelectricity no don't, don't don't talk just show me so piezoelectricity is electric polarization in a substance resulting from the application of mechanic stress, meaning if you touch this crystal, electricity will come out. No pressure, it just sits there. If you touch the crystal, all the effing crystals will align and electricity will, will, will spark out of that thing. Typically, you're going to see this in quartz crystals. This is the same thing that's happening in the pineal gland. Piezoelectric, uh, I'm sorry. Piezoelectric crystal pineal gland. Uh, so piezoelectricity in the human pineal gland, according to sciencedirect.com, second harmonic generation, generation or SHG measurements show that pineal tissue contained non-central cis, symmetric crystals, thus proving the presence of piezoelectricity. This is, uh, and this is the same thing that's going to be powering your watches. This is the same thing that powers um, uh, lightsabers. Go back and look at uh, Star Wars. It was the same thing powering those lightsabers. This is the same thing. So let me uh, get this off the screen. So now they're going to, you are going to have this, um, this barometer to measure light which the same thing this machine does is what your pineal gland does. So your pineal gland measures light for the purpose of um, uh, circadian rhythm. You get enough light, you uh, you wake up too much light. Uh, I'm sorry, not enough light. You tend to get sleepy, blah, blah, blah. We already know what that is. We've all experienced it. Uh, assuming you're a normal person. Some of you are vampires and you don't like, Crumb, I'm not going out doing the, doing the eclipse. You sit in the dark all day long. What are you talking about? So now how do we measure light? Uh, we, we measure it in uh, luminance or lux. This is the root word of luxury, your time in the light and the most y'all be in the dark. Remember, your aha moment is when you have that, that uh, the light goes off in your head. So now let me just cut to the chase. If, if you stand in direct sunlight, that's going to be anywhere between 32,000 to 100,000 lux. Let me see where we're at. 
all right, so we still got the uh, the PR guy. <laughs> this is not a scientist. This is a PR guy. You know, this is the weatherman type of dude. Uh, and let's see what we got over here. We got 24 minutes until they launch these rockets. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. So now, when you stand in direct sunlight, you're going to get in, anywhere between 32,000 and 100,000 lux. If you don't stand in sunlight, but you're in a full daylight, you're anywhere between 10,000 and 25,000 lux. So this is the barometer right here. If you're in between the 10,000 to 100,000 range, then I can totally understand what you're saying. Most of you people, you people, don't even go outside talking about the daggone, the darkness is evil. Most of you don't, most of you sit in a, a well-lit room. A well-lit room is only going to be between 320 to 500 lux. Why is this important? Because 320 to 500 lux is not going to be enough light to stimulate the pineal gland. 320 to 500 lux is not enough light to stimulate the pineal gland to indicate that you are in a situation of daylight. Most of us, me included, because right now I'm in inside. I was outside this morning, but most but most of us have been inside all day. And I want to see who's honest versus who's going to lie. If if you've not been outside all day today, just respectfully, this is non-judgment. I'm not going to attack you. And I want to ask that you not attack anybody. Moderators, make sure that we just ask the family for respect. Whoever is going to be disrespectful, address them by name and say, hey, just, you know, put some respect on the platform. But anyway, if you respectfully have not been outside all day today, I don't. Now, that doesn't mean walking to your car. If you if you got inside your car, that doesn't substantiate you going outside. I mean, you being outside. That means walking, riding bike, sitting your ass down somewhere, and not moving. If your ass ain't been outside all day today, press two, two, two. Let me see who's going to lie, because, you know, nobody's going to say, I've been outside all day today. No, you haven't. Come on, family. Just be honest so that we can all have an honest conversation. The reality is, um, uh, respectfully, and me included, I'm not, st let me press 222. Even though I went outside today, I don't be going outside every effing day. I'm not going to sit here and lie to nobody. I don't be going outside every day. Back when I was a kid, family, I kind of don't want to curse, but I do want to curse. Somebody talk black to me. Can I, can, can I drop an F-bomb or something? No? Yes? Because I do want to drop it, but I don't want to do it in a way where anybody feels if, as if I'm addressing them. I'm not addressing anybody in particular. I'm just saying. And I just want to, you know, maybe there are kids in a room. If there are kids in a the room, then let's just keep it clean. Let's keep it clean for the children. When I was an effing child, I'd be outside all GD day. When I was a kid, I'd be outside all GD day. What are you talking about? My mama had to tell me when them lights go out, bring your ass on. I'm sorry. See, there I go. There I go. There I go. There, see? I'm going to blame my, you know, the people who were telling me to do it. Y'all sitting here pushing me. Here, let me see what, I, let me see what the time looked like. 20 minutes until they launch these rockets. Uh, it looks like 30 seconds until they're saying something's supposed to happen. Let me unmute this, see what they say. Share. Chrome. Oh, she lying her ass off. Check this out be one of those explosions for space weather the reasons why we really study the sun and try to understand how to live with the sun hmm. well, you can know, you explain why space weather is important to us here on earth definitely so it's not just satellites that need that uh, are are interested in space weather it's also our power grids because of those energetic particles coming from those those uh, big explosions that can happen in the sun um that could damage our power grids it could uh, also uh, do things like interfere with gps signals and i know we all use our phones to navigate everywhere um so if we didn't have that that would be a big, uh, big problem. So we're uh, looking to understand it better so we can all mitigate all those things. Some of the movement we're seeing here is just a 
their telescope operator adjusting because again they needed to make some changes for before totality okay this is mexico a different way and then after totality we might see some shakes there as well but i really just cannot believe how how crisp it is as we said it's not a marble <laughs> but i mean just the view of it is so crisp with these little uh, again those filaments are just amazing that we can see that to, to such accuracy you know right definitely and also the fu the fu white fuzz i mean that's you're seeing something that's a million degrees just wow. hanging wow. out all around the sun and you know three uh what is it three million earths can fit inside of there so there's a <laughs> lot of there's a lot of so um there. it's in mexico all right now there, that's why they haven't launched the, they, ha they haven't launched these the rockets they're going to launch it in 20 minutes there's no need to launch it while it's over mexico pilot once that, that joint gets in America, so they're going to try to thread the needle, and try to, break the to, firmament, to chase down the shadow for as long as possible, keep up with it as long as possible. Exactly. The shadow is much faster than the plane. However, they can chase it for a while and get an extra two minutes. So uh, on the ground, we can only get four and a half minutes and they're going to get six and a half for that plane. I love that they're waving there to is. us. Oh, there you go. And now we're flipped. Now we're right. seeing the front. Right. So again, uh, they are in night. I don't see a curve. I ain't going to lie to nobody. Press 333 if you don't see a curve. Yeah, and that's what we'll expect. To, uh, wherever we see totality is is the night sky is very dark you might even see some planets or stars um and if you don't see i'm not saying the earth flat i never said the earth was degrees. flat but i don't see a curve in this picture that is kind of interesting well. yeah she, amazing vantage point she I'm said it jealous. Kelly, she said it she said it not me y'all know darn well i am not no flat earther but that ish looked kind of interesting well i do want to say a big thank you to that ish looked interesting and the whole team supporting them for that great view. That and now this one is in Mexico right now. Once that joint gets to America in 15 and minutes, they're going to launch those reptilian her, rockets her and, other experts and try to thread this that, that needle. Of NASA's Curious Universe podcast, and that QR code will pop up on the screen. screen and hey, the family said, we outside. We outside. Hey, uh, Queen, what state are you in? What state are you in, Queen? Just asking. big thank you, actually, to the Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute or Survey for providing the telescope views from Mazatlan. Yeah, the survey team down there, the survey team is based out of Ames, but All right, I'm going to pause this because I just don't want to hear her talking about telling no lies. Sort of studying the, the intersection of science Remember, these are not scientists. These are some uh, humans to the moon. Yeah, uh, amazing. Okay, totality is actually about to end in Mazatlan. Let's keep watching our screen. Yeah, that's right in Mexico. Now, again, Once this bitch. Get uh, over to America. That's your ass. We leaving this world. Right White people leaving right now. You're going to put your glasses on right now to protect those beautiful eyes. Um, because <laughs> put your glasses on. I'm watching face. straight here. I'm watching this thing, man. I'm looking it straight. I'm going to look this bitch straight in the eyes. Kelly, Press 444 four, 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 if you're going to look this trick straight in the eyes. You said put on your glasses. I'm so trained now to do it. Press 444 if you're going to look this trick straight in the eyes. Again, what we're seeing Listen, I'm not going to lie to nobody. I don't got no glasses. I'm not going to I'm not going to look away. The way that you said people on the ground need to put on our glasses. Our telescope put on no damn glasses. Their own eyes as well as their equipment. I ain't got no glasses. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. Niggas in the hood ain't got no glasses. I ain't seen no nigga in the hood with no glasses. Nigga, I'm looking this bitch in the I'm sorry. I'm looking this thing in the face. So thank you so much. I'm looking this thing in the face. There's a lot to learn about our sun and eclipses. So to explain it all in a really fun way for right. kids, NASA developed it's a me. clever game called Snap It. We have another QR code coming on your screen right now. Just scan that code. Y'all know darn well. Yo ass going to look. Press on it later. Stop. And, Who, uh, whoever is lying, I'm not going to look. Yes, stop lying. Go .nasa we all going to look. Slash I'm going to look. Okay, so NASA can predict the total solar eclipse's path to a high degree of accuracy because of a spacecraft Gosh, that launched her, she, These people get on my nerves ago. just listening the to them talk get on my nerves. Now helping our Artemis two astronauts. Can y'all hear this girl talk? Moon next year. Right, family. NASA's next step in establishing a long-term presence on the moon is sending four astronauts training has been I'm going to thread the needle reconnaissance orbiter on this eclipse raw dog launched in 2009 and to use about some glasses including a high resolution camera to help us learn more about these people so funny y'all know darn well we ain't where yo ass then yo is not watching any other planetary Your is not going to not look i'm looking Earth. 
The Artemis 2 crew used LRO data and photographs to learn how to identify lunar landmarks. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Listen, where is this thing at? Where is this thing at? Landing spots for okay, so I'm going to pause that. She ain't, this is a bunch of whatever. I want to see these people launch this darn rocket. That's what I want to see. Hold on. Hold on. Let me stop. Present. Share. Tab. Solar Eclipse. This is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for them to launch this rocket. All this CGI, the the PR people at NASA. I I, I don't care about none of that family. I want to see them launch this rocket. I want to see what happens with that. Whatever they doing with these damn rockets, these APEP rockets. If it if we gonna get through the firmament family, the only the only reason this this solar eclipse is a big deal is because this is our only chance to get through the firmament from America. You know your ass is not going down to Antarctica. You're not gonna do that. Operation High Jump is not an option. You're not going down to Antarctica. That's what you're not gonna do. You're not going to Russia. You're not going to India. Singapore is not gonna let you launch launch no rockets from there. This is the, the reason this thing is a big deal is because this is our, our the last hurrah. You tried to launch that rocket because you had an X point opportunity. You tried to launch that rocket the last time and it didn't work. Uh, October 14th, 2023. Now this is your last chance to launch that rocket again. And you're going to send three of them. And try to and try to breach that X point. That's according to NASA. That's not no tinfoilhat.com. NASA was the one who brought you the science about the X point. Hold on, let me see if I can look deeper into it. Um, because CERN is going to launch their thing today. CERN is going to launch their thing today. X point is time travel. X point. When you're dealing with X point, you're dealing with time travel. CERN is going to turn the time travel machine on and take advantage of the the CERN machine is. Is 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 effing running right now? The certain the CERN machine came on today, and they're not going to play that on live. If the CERN machine was on live, I'd play it on live. Let's go to CERN. Let's go to their website. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me let me see what they're saying right real quick. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna share it so we get audio. Where's the audio on that solar eclipse? See what lies they're telling. Here we uh, go. Stick it in. Did she say stick it in? Wow. What is and it's going into totality? Wow. There, there you have go. it. We are in. Yep, that diamond this ring came through. And we see a little bit of those Bailey beads, too, as we're looking at it. Those kind of the lights trickling through around the surface of the moon coming through the Carolyn. Valley. Carolyn. So, what is a. What are we doing? Carolyn. That was from Poultry Guys. This almost pink color effect. Right. And so as we just heard from the last totality, you know, these pink fingers wow. are popping out a little bit. <laughs> and those are those solar prominences. They're appearing pink because of the, the helium rich. Oh, but we can see it. Let's focus on the corona here. That we got glow that we're getting. 11 minutes. And we Sorry. can see basically these streams that are coming out. A lot of that energy uh, and brightness that we can. y'all press zero if you can hear her talking? If you can hear her talking, basis. press zero. So with this total eclipse, we're able to see that corona nice and bright coming through in Torreon. Now, keep in mind, this is still in Mexico. This is still in Mexico. It is. Gina, okay, and so let's take, we've got so many questions coming in online right now from awesome. viewers watching. Okay, y'all can hear it, okay, Our okay. first one is gonna be from Justin, who wants to know, you know, right now we are seeing a pretty clear and spectacular view of oh, yeah. a total solar eclipse. Yeah. But this is in Mexico, know, what will it, it hasn't happened yet in America. Over? Right, so the view that we're getting right now, you won't be able to see that if it's clouded over, but you will have effects going on, right? You'll get a change in the temperature, so the temperature will drop. It'll still get darker. As it's well. All right, so this is Mexico. I mean, we, we have some cloud coverage, right? Yeah. And we're feeling a Texas. little wind. It's Hold on. Darker, Man, can we get a... Um, so you'll get some of those environmental Roll call. Effects. What Even state are you in right now? I need to know who so is in Texas. Up, you know, Texas, stand by. Know, again, if you are in Texas, stand by. We're coming to you. We're coming in hot, Texas. But do you know about... 
how many if degrees you, we can expect. Yeah, you know, it depends on the location. Can, can I get a multiple factors, but it can roll call? Where are you at? So, if you are, you are, you are in Texas, please stand by. We're coming in hot to you. Compared to what it was earlier. And I mean, I'm just staring at this view of totality that we have in right. Torreon. So we're about halfway through totality right now in Torreon, right. Mexico. And again, so I don't know. So now we got nine minutes totality than 2017, until right? NASA right. get ready to That's launch right. these darn so rockets. 2017, we had a little more than two minutes. So we're lucky enough this time that we have over four minutes in some places too. This is so beautiful. And so our next question from Sibel on Instagram. <laughs> wants to know why is the sun more active right now? Oh, so the sun is more active because we have an 11 year solar cycle. The sun goes from solar maximum to solar minimum where it's changing its level of activity. Oh, and as you're Are seeing the screen, yeah, so I see in that the bottom right there, we can see that prominence extending out. And as we heard earlier in Mazatlan, you know, that is potentially the beginning of space weather activity. So we're talking about solar maximum. If there's a time to see- I don't want to hear her talk no more. I don't want to hear, listen, listen, lady. All right, that's enough from you. So just turn on just a little bit. So let me see, uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes till they launch these darn rockets. I think- If you in Texas and some de debris Falls. If something falls out of the sky, e hit me up anywhere. If you're in Texas and something falls out of the sky and anywhere around you, let me know. If they break the firmament, I want a piece of it. <laughs> if they break it, I want a piece of it. But uh, yeah. Um, okay. NY has clear skies. Actually, here, let me see. Yeah, it's clear. No, it's, it's kind of clear out here, too. It's kind of clear. It's, it's, it's kind of clear. And yeah, I'm going to tell you this. Yeah, I'm a raw dog that. I'm a raw dog that. That's called a diamond. I'm a raw dog the diamond. Put no damn glasses on. I'm going to look that trick straight in the face. What rockets? America gets his rockets from Russia. What rockets? Family, listen. In seven minutes, they are going to launch three rockets called APEP. APEP is the sun killer. <laughs> in ancient Egypt, well, who said that? Oh, it's going too fast. Who said what rockets? Where are you at? I can't find you anymore. What rockets? Yozy. What rockets? America gets his rockets from Russia, and they're not... And and they're not sell America any. Even the space shuttle rockets are made in Russia. Okay, well, listen, family, we about to see in six six uh, 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 six minutes. We about to see in six minutes. We about to see in six minutes. Oh, you can't see what I'm showing you. Hold on, let me go over here because I really don't want to. There we go. In six minutes, we about to see what's going on. Oh, you got the glasses on? The family said look crazy with the glasses on. Shit. Listen, you better not. You better, every download you get, you better post it. Listen, listen. Today, if you if you get in some glasses, so is this time we get our powers? Uh, I, don't, I don't know about no powers or nothing like that. But, uh, you know, because keep in mind, like eclipse has, happens every 18 months. Eclipse happens every 18 months. This ain't no rarity. It's just this is uh, the first time that we're going to have these eclipses in America. That's what that is. America is going to have it over us. Outside of that, not eclipse happen every eighteen every eighteen months. It's just not going to happen in America. And we just had an eclipse October fourteenth, twenty twenty three. So I don't understand. And we already tried to shoot the APEP rockets then. We tried to shoot the APEP rockets through the X point October fourteenth, twenty twenty three, and it didn't work. So this is America's last chance in the next a thousand years, unless you're going to carry your ass down to Antarctica, and you know you're not going to do that. But unless you're going to do that, then this is going to be your last chance to try to launch anything in America at what they're calling a shadow. But they would maybe call it a black hole. But you might be able to call it 
an X point. Because this is what NASA calls it. NASA is calling this an X point. And when I was in school, they told us uh, X marks the spot. X is where you're going to have the exit. The X point is the exit. They're going to try to thread the needle and try to leave through the exit with these three um, uh, rockets in four and a half minutes. So in four and a half minutes, we're going to see what all the hubbub is about. That's what they're saying. They're saying this is a portal. This is a black sun portal because all souls come through a solar system, soul meaning sun. They're going to try to thread this needle. Much love to uh, legendary Black Brawley. I know you're probably new to the channel, uh, but let me have some of the master students. We here on, let me pause this. I can hear this trick talking and this is a commercial. I'll pause that. Um, but anyway, yeah. Oh, it's not a commercial. It's just like a some marketing stuff, <clears throat> some editing they put together. You tell you tell me why why would these people want to leave? Now remember, they're launching that CERN machine today. They're launching the CERN machine. Why are they going to launch the CERN machine today when we're going to have an X point? We're going to have an X point today. Now remember. Now. Some of you are in the tri-state area. Today is 4.8. We just had a 4.8. 4.8 earthquake. Today's date is 4.8. Today is 4.8. Two days ago, we just had the, 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 the entree. I'm sorry, the appetizer to the entree. Your appetizer, because these are all... Um, uh, um, celestial events, events that are happening in space, events that are happening with the earth, events happening with the water, you know, all of the uh, elemental powers. As it is above, it is below. We had a 4.8 and today we're going to, on 4.8, we're going to have another colossal event of epic proportion. It was a 4.8? That number just... What is going on with this 4-8 thing? That's right. So this whole thing is happening with the moon on moon day. Very, very interesting. Moon day is when it's all happening on 4-8. And we just had a crazy big earthquake that was a 4.8. Maybe that 4.8 earthquake in New York was the initiation to the April 8th, the fourth month, eighth day movie. This is the preview. That's, what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. This is the preview. This was your preview to wake you up for the 4-8. Now, of course, I'm freestyling. What I'm saying is not all wise, right, and exact. What I'm saying is bullshit. I'm just freestyling and making some shit up and it sounds cute. I don't have a smoking gun. I don't have proof. I'm just saying the shit is fucking... I'm sorry for cursing. Please forgive me. I'm just saying these things are interesting. Let me see about this darn rocket. All right, one minute till they launch this rocket or at least talk about it. So I'm going to throw the audio on. I want to hear what lies they tell. Um, let's see about this rocket. Uh, so in one minute, they're going to go live um less than in less than one minute 50 in less than 59 seconds they're going to go live and talk about how they're going to launch this apep rocket at the darn sun the hole come on let me see what the number is waiting for nasa see this is the thing nasa you guys are you're nasa you're supposed to Boy, I am about to say something. I'm about to say something. You see, this is the thing. NASA can't be on CP time. Somebody tell me why is NASA on CP time? <laughs> you said one minute. You had me waiting. Uh, you, why would you put that you were going to go live at 8.30? I'm sorry, at 2.30. Oh, oh, there they go. I was going to say, see, don't play with me. Don't play with me. 
stand by for the start of Terminal County. This shit kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie to nobody. Four, three, two, one, mark. Ten minutes and counting. They about to launch this effing rocket. Good afternoon. Press uh, press one if you well, can hear these people and, uh, talking. Yes, of course we have other people in the room here. Press one if you can hear these people talking. If you can't, I want to from Wild give it to facility you. Here in Virginia, as you may have just no, heard, this is in Virginia. Just entered the terminal count. We've Press one if you can hear him talking. With the range okay, okay, team, okay. the test director, the PI, sounding rockets office here at Wallops uh, in preparation for our APEP mission, the atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path here at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. Uh, as you know, many people across the United States from Texas to Maine will be treated to a stunning astronomical event, a total solar eclipse today. Uh, very soon, the moon will cr cross in front of the sun and block the light from our star. Darkening the skies for those in the path of totality, and for those of us that are not, we'll be, uh, be witnessing an 81% eclipse here in the Wallops area, the Virginia area, on the eastern seaboard. But that's not the only thing happening. Here in the skies over Wallops Island, Virginia, three sounding rockets will embark on a mission to unravel the mysteries of our... That's not the only thing happening. They're going to launch CERN today as well. When they when they launch this rocket, they're going to simultaneously turn on the CERN machine. We'll study how the sudden reaction in sunlight during the eclipse affects our upmost atmosphere, our upper atmosphere, or the ion. They're about to turn the CERN machine on in ten minutes. <laughs> they're trying to rip a hole in space in real time. Now, of course, it's going to fail. Duh, it's going. To, it, it it always fails. Good light. We the melanin. We always we always win. But it's just interesting to see them try. It, of course, they're going to fail. But let's just watch them fail. Let's just you know in real time. At, and then just about eight seconds, we'll be at eight minutes and counting for our first rocket leaving the MRL launcher from Wallops Flight Facilities Launch Range out on Wallops Island, Virginia. Right now on your screen, you'll see the MRL launcher as the closest launcher to us looking at the screen. Yeah, they're going to fail. I'm about to, I'm about to right tap in with Grandma. No weapon so we'll be against me. Let me stop. Second and third, our 50K launcher. Nominal main payload. This joint is crazy. They about to try to launch. Ain't no way. See, I don't know what's in there. That joint might have a like, like, like a that, that joint might have a uh, N U C L E A R core. That joint may have a N U C L E A R. I think that's how you spell it. Core. I don't know what's in this the thing. Next couple hours, we're gonna share. Tons of information about the experiment. No, bro. Save, save the propaganda. Save the propaganda. Just show me the rocket. That are participating in the launch today. Uh, we'd like to welcome uh, Dr. Brajadi, our PI here. For the, is a principal investigator for this launch here to Wallace Island, and uh, all the great folks that are supporting this launch today. Now we wait. As we approach. Come on. Six minutes. Because you know, listen, um, press four five 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 if you understand that the Tamahu is going extinct. Press five 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 if the flugel rod, if the Tamahu, if the troglodyte, if the homunculus is going extinct. Go ahead. We are about to take over the earth. We are about to go come back in power. And they're trying to escape judgment. Russia already told you that that God is a black man. Russia already told you God is a black man. They out of here. Russia done snitched. They out of here, family. God is a black man. I don't want judgment. Russia done told your ass God is a black man. Ain't nobody playing. Ain't nobody trying to stick around for that. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to stick around for that. <laughs> Let me see what y'all do, cause I'm. I, I want to see what happened. I ain't gonna lie. I, I feel a little bit excited. But see, they're gonna launch three rockets, one every forty-five minutes. They're gonna launch three rockets, one every forty-five minutes. There is no way in the world this is gonna work. 
Absolutely. Provide final win weighted settings. Hold on. Final settings are as follows. Azimuth, one, zero, zero, decimal four, elevation, seven, nine, decimal two. Azimuth, one, zero, zero, decimal four, elevation, seven, nine, decimal two. Good read back. LC, ROA. Go for LC. MRL launcher, final win weighted settings are azimuth 100.4, elevation 79.2. LC copies and work. And as you can hear, we just passed on the final launcher settings, azimuth and elevation. Uh, came from our range safety officer to our ROA, range operations, and then on to launch control, who will make the settings at the launcher you see on the screen out at the launch pad on Wallace Island. This, of course, is uh, goes through uh, safety scrutiny review to make sure that uh, we avoid any hazards and remain within the hazard area. And see, let me just, you know, because this, this is my big bro. Listen, I'm not saying the sun is not a million gazillion miles away. Because that's what they told us in school. But what they're doing here, it do seem like the sun is a lot closer. I'm not saying, I've never said the earth was flat. Never. You've never seen an earth is flat video from me. I never did that. I've never, I've, I've talked about fallow, uh, hollow earth, but what they're doing here, it makes it seem like the earth, like the sun is a lot closer than what they kind of, bro, listen, I've never been one of them people. It, but this right here makes it seem as if this joint is a lot closer than what they portray it to be. We got 500 people. I had to take a screenshot of that. Listen, I've never said the sun was this close to us, but this right here, yeah, th th this right, th this right here is like them kind of, they're, they're telling us something without telling us something. Let me, let me unmute the mic. Let me see what they're saying. And if you're just joining us, we just passed three minutes and counting for our first rocket launch today from Wallops Island, Virginia as part of the atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path or APEP mission. Much easier to say APEP. I'll say that from here forward. APEP launch here from the MRL launcher on Wallops Island range. We will have uh, three rocket launches today. MRL will be our first launcher, which is the closest to you looking our left on the left of the screen. The ARC will be our second launcher, which is not on screen currently. And then our third launch will be from our 50K launcher, which is currently on the right of screen that we're seeing now. Told you. Again, the APEP mission here during the eclipse to study disturbances. Stop lying. Sphere stop, stop, stop the lying. Dr. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. From Embry Riddle. We also see they got it. Press press 666. And I'm, I'm, I'm so glad we're on 666. Press 666. If you understand, they got to add propaganda. Press 666 if you understand they got to add propaganda. That's mandatory. They got to give you a narrative. They got to sell you a story. This is Hollywood. This is how what you're watching now is I, I don't know what you think NASA is, but this is Hollywood. And in Hollywood, they have to sell you a story. Press 666 if you understand that. If you don't, then of course we're gonna you're gonna learn something hopefully here, but Family here today understand there. This is Hollywood, and they got to sell you a story. This is a link to uh, ACS check 437. Uh, let's Experiment, just keep going. Go. Experiment go PLC, PLC go PTM, go STM, go ACS, go PI, go SRPO, go check 438439. One minute, SPLC check 441, go. They're launching the APEP. The, the god of chaos is about to be launched to break the firmament, to fight the sun. If uh, moderators, Minus please, 40. please share my new YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is called YouTube University. Please go over there and subscribe. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers today. Minus 30. Arm verified. Check item 445. Minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark, P0. And our first APEP rocket has left the rail. Radar Listen in. Tracking. Six TM Mission readout squid. clock. Motor pressure. Plus 20. All TM antennas tracking. Yeah, see, why are they not showing the rocket? Here's now a look inside of RCC. Why are they not showing the rocket? No, uh uh, this ain't right. This is why they. That's the range team. F the range team. As F well as sounding rockets, our PI, Dr. Brajati is also in the room. F U C K. Now, the data on the why are they not showing the rocket? Them. Bitch, I don't. Uh, oh, my, my blood pressure. Where my blood pressure pills at? Where my. Oh, my God. Why are you not. See? As see? Launched, it's that BS. Rocket. Separation of a three rocket salvo wire. today. Wallace Island. It's part of the APEP mission. ACS one. <laughs> See, boy, I, oh my Eject god. Eject squib. This ain't right. Got all plunger switches and brake wires. This, this ain't right. Squib. Houston, we have a problem. They not showing a goddamn rocket. All are transmitting a high power. They not gonna show it. Could they just turn the machine on? They just turned the CERN machine on. They can't let you see what's happening right. Oh, we're going to show it on live. Bitch, you weren't going to show it on live ever. You lied. And you knew you was lying. You turned that goddamn CERN machine on because you didn't want, because you want to save it's face because you can't do it and you're not going to do it. That's why you're not showing it. They just turned the CERN machine on. Show it. Looks like all four booms extended. They got me so upset right now. They got me so upset. Yeah, this is the best. This is the best. Boy, boy, if this is true, I'm going to be so happy. If this is true, I'm going to be so happy. If Looks like the zero degree boom did not deploy. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we've passed two minutes, 40 seconds in flight for our first launch from the MR MRL launcher here at Wallace Flight Facility in support of the APEP launches. Lies. So thanks for joining us. Good See, afternoon. Uh, lies, just some information, some background on the on the three rocket salvo we'll be doing here today. Each rocket will deploy. You'll hear some of the chatter on the range networks. Each rocket is uh, planning to deploy sub payloads about the size of a two liter bottle of soda. Each rocket essentially creates five suborbital profiles, providing 15 different data sets from just three. This is BS. Data. So that's all the data we're going to get from <laughs> this three is, launches today. Here this is total BS. And I'm not going to lie. I did not see this coming. At any time in place. I did not see this coming. But why we like the eclipse or why science. This like is total BS. Most science campaigns have a two to three week window with eclipses. Y'all can't, y'all can't never say nothing bad about, about. Allowing science teams to craft an easy and comprehensive experiment to study the basic physics that uh, would take them weeks, as said before. Again, this is the APEP KDR mission. To LPM. Are we clear to go outside just to check for any growth hazards? We're listening now to the LPM. Are we clear? Are, are we clear to go try to pick up the pieces of this rocket? From the test director, I'm just going to check around, make sure there's no hazards, obvious hazards around the pad. Safe the pad. If you go out there, we'll move on to our next rocket from our ARC launcher, which will be not on camera yet. They'll swing cameras around for a good view of that launch. And that you know, you're right. I should have seen this coming. NASA in Hebrew yeah, means to deceive. It means to deceive. Rocket number two. Phony balonies. Phony balonies. Now they want to start. The whole time they've been showing this that. Video, the Eclipse Explainer video. So uh, here we go with the editing. Here we go with the Hollywood editing. No, I don't want to see no Hollywood editing. Here we go with the Hollywood editing. 
why when they shot the rocket off as soon as they oh okay there you go hollywood editing there you go hey see i told you we launched the rocket and and yeah we we did all everything we said we was going to do we did it yeah uh-huh cgi editing animation <laughs> CGI, animation, editing. This is, oh God, this is that Final Cut Pro. They use Final Cut Pro. Man, why, how did I not see this coming? Let me take a moment to acknowledge everybody who has supported the Cash App. I'm going to take a moment to acknowledge um, Shin is real. Uh, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, who else do we got here? Um, John, I'm not, oh, John Smith, it, it, you know, I, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. I try not to tell people personal business. That's such a regular name that you'll never find that person. Um, Akasha, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, Neil, Taisha, Maxine, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Shin, Rainbow Light Warrior, you know, you have a special place in my heart, babe. Uh, I am, uh, L. Crystal. Taisha, thank you everybody for supporting the Cash App. It means everything to me. Um, we still have two more rockets for them to lie to us about. Uh, I got to be honest, family. I kind of don't even want to watch it anymore. I don't want to see these lies. I'm tired of them playing these games. Like, you know, for me, in my personal opinion, the P. Diddy thing was more real than this. This whole launching the rockets and blah, 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 it was so fake. I felt like I would have spent better time talking about P. Diddy. Because this right here is, you know, it's just a bunch of editing and like they play, they play so much games. And that just kind of kills my vibe and I just don't want to do it no more. Yeah, no Diddy. I just, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, you know what? No, okay, you know what? I'm not saying I should have went to the Diddy party. I am not. Hold up, because if anybody interprets... Hi, hi. I am... <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I should have went to the Diddy... No, no, I'm not saying I should have went to the Diddy party. I'm just saying that uh, this right here is just... It irks me. Uh, it kills me. I'm just so over it. Um <laughs> <laughs> she about to make some magnesium cream. Let's move move out. Nothing to see here, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is hot garbage. This is this is the same stuff that we've been trying to tell you guys about. The smoke and mirrors, the tricks, the Holly weird, all these games these people play. It just gets so like. All right, family. All right. You know what? Fine. You're gonna shoot some rockets at an eclipse, and you're gonna do a bunch of stuff, and you're gonna show it on live. I got you. Yeah, family, I was going to ask, you know, now that I apologize, I want to apologize for wasting your time. I want to apologize. Now that I apologize for wasting your time, I want to say, you know, to at least make the most of it, this is my new YouTube channel where I will be showing my edit stuff. Maybe I'll do an edit and, you know, post it over there and kind of go in on NASA and the games they play and I'll find all the CGI stuff and put it all together. I don't know. But anyway, uh, if you could, if you would, please and thank you, subscribe to the new YouTube channel. It is called YouTube University. We're going to be doing something that NASA is not doing. We're going to be teaching. We're going to be showing. We're going to be proving. Uh, I thought that's what we would have had today, uh, but obviously uh, it is a far cry from transparency. What I'm seeing, uh, she says, I'm outside right now. I don't see no rocket. F family, press 777 if your ass is outside or you've been outside and you ain't seen no rocket. If your ass ain't seen no rocket nowhere in the sky, press 777. I've been looking in the comments. Nobody in the comments has said anything about a rocket. Yo, come I saw the rocket. Nobody said they saw the rocket. Nobody in this lie. Bro, he's, he's in Virginia. Hold on, where's he at? Where's he at? He's the chat moving too fast. Where's my brother at? 757 is Virginia. This dude is in Virginia and he didn't even see a rocket. Family, man, listen, listen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Family. Okay, I'm. 
listen, I'm not going to say never, but I, nobody saw the rocket. We saw them show something. Family, this, this is giving me moon landing vibes. This is giving me moon landing vibes. <laughs> Remember when y'all faked the moon landing? Well, there you go, family. There, there's your um, moon landing. There's your... Crumb, I never thought I, I would see the day when they would fake a moon landing. Well, listen, you just saw one today. You just saw one today. They just hit your... They just hit your ASS with the old... With, with, the, with the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> They hit you with the with the old banana in the tailpipe trick, family. They didn't hit you with the banana in the tailpipe, did they? Oops, I did it again. I played with your mind. <laughs> they hit your ass with the old moon landing play. Y'all still falling for the moon landing? Well, you know, listen, family, I fell for it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to press 777. Today, I thought we were going to see something to where they were going to launch some type of missile or something. I thought something was going to happen today that we were going to be able to see. Family, I'm going to tell you this. Something happened. I don't know what happened. They didn't allow the commoners to see it. But something happened and they didn't show it. Maybe they never launched a missile. Maybe they launched a missile and CERN had something to, I don't, obviously this is where my tinfoil hat comes on and I become a cockamamie, scatterbrain, slobbering, rain man, tinfoil hat conspiracy theorist. No problem at all. I don't, I don't have a problem doing that because right now when they do stuff like this, I start to wonder. So you launch CERN. You launch this rocket, you say that you're going to do it on live, and then you don't show it. Well, well, listen, that that is probably the elephant in the room right now. Not only did they, did they pull the old banana in a tailpipe trick, but you paid for it. You paid for them to screw you. We, let me stop saying you. We paid for them to screw us over. That's, 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 that's a, listen, family. They got you with the old banana in the, in the tailpipe. Listen, I get it. Hold on, let me see what lies they're telling. Let me see if they're telling some type of lies. SRPO concurs. PM concurs. I just want to keep the B clock rolling for safety's reasons. Copy. Programmer, 8 clock at T minus 15 minutes of holding, please. Roger, 15 holding. Why did you not show that darn rocket after you launched it? That's what I want to know. Why did... <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned, folks, after this commercial. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You're going to get the CGI video later. Trust me. You're going to get the CGI video later. You're going to get it later. They're going to give you the CGI video later. Don't worry about that. Oh, guys, sorry, the, uh, the, uh, the, um, our TikTok camera went off. Our GoPro didn't work, but here we have a, a reimagining of what happened. We have a reimagining of what happened. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. And then they blocking it with all these damn chemtrails. Then they blocking it with their best chemtrails. Harp has put out their best chemtrails that look really like clouds to make sure that the cover up is thorough. They're not playing with none of y'all. But yeah, CERN fired up, but this is the thing. I, I had already went to CERN's YouTube channel. Matter of fact, let me go to CERN's YouTube channel with you right now. Let me go to, and this is, this, this is the other part, you know, and, and I accepted it. I wasn't going to cry nobody, no river and CERN live, live total solar eclipse, the launch pad. I'm looking for CERN's website. I'm sorry, YouTube channel. I went to CERN's YouTube channel today. And they said, if you want to see anything from CERN, there's, there, this is CERN's YouTube channel. 
This is live. CERN is not going live. CERN ain't going to show your ASS nothing. Hold on. Let me take old girl down. Lauren, you got a pretty face. I, I appreciate you, but I'm, I'm going to take you down so we can see the actual thing. No no disrespect to you. I appreciate you a hundred million. Uh, but yeah, this is CERN's YouTube channel. CERN is not going live today. Let me see. Let me see. CERN didn't even, that's two days ago. Playlist. Uh, live. That was one month ago. Shorts. That was, that doesn't say, but it's not today. Uh, videos two weeks ago. CERN ain't posted nothing today. Now, let me go. Uh, let me see. Uh, CERN live. So here it is. Home. If you can see that, let me make it bigger. Home slash CERN. And you can see the 666 right there because they got to tap into the melanin to get it in outer space. Uh, but yeah, and it says live stream. So let's click the live stream. It's, it's already blue, purple. So you know that I've already clicked it. I've already checked. Let me make this smaller. Can I? What's going on here? So this is CERN's website. And if you want to see anything from CERN, you're going to have to go to their website and request it. So yeah, CERN launched that thing today, but ain't no way in hell they're going to let you see it. Or, or, or us. Let me stop seeing you. Let me say us. Ain't no way in hell they're going to let us see it. That's what's not going to, you, you know what's not going to happen? That's what's not going to happen. So now you can stop holding your breath. Like CERN going to show you. CERN ain't showing you nothing. You know how much nothing is? I'm just, I'm being funny. But let me uh, share. Um, two separate engines to fire in sequence to reach higher altitudes. That first stage is powered by a Terrier motor. We'll All right, rocket. listen, well, I'm, I'm enough with the propaganda. Stop with the lying family. I'm just so tired of these people. I'm just so tired of these people. But yeah, so with that said, CERN is not going to show you anything. NASA, obviously, is not going to show you anything. The family said it is getting dark over Iowa. That's crazy. Uh, I don't see any darkness over here. I don't see any type of darkness anywhere around me. Um, it looks like I am full bright sky, clear sky, no clouds, no nothing, no rockets, no clouds, no, no, no darkness, no nothing over here where I'm at. Family said, am I covering the eclipse? Yeah, I've, I'm covering the eclipse. We showed the eclipse several times and oh, the family said it's getting dark. Let me, let me, let me go back to this eclipse then. Hold on. I'm going to uh, see if I can open close window because they pissed me off. Reopen close tab. Uh, reopen close tab. Dang, all these. Okay. I'm not, I'm doing too much. Give me just a second. Let me go back to YouTube. And I'm going to go to NASA. Nope, that's the wrong button. Uh, solar eclipse. Because they're about to launch this second one, Solar Eclipse Live. All right, so let's watch this goofy ass Solar Eclipse and all these lies they're gonna tell us. I mean, let me share this with you. Here are the lies from your latest space person. Why are they running Elon Musk commercials during the Solar Eclipse? SpaceX. Why is Space Energy X and SpaceX running commercials during the solar eclipse? That's what I want to know. So the solar eclipse is over by Illinois. Brought to you by SpaceX. Yeah, I know why. <laughs> you already know why. <laughs> so the partial eclipse will begin at 1223 p.m. and end at 302 p.m. Totality will only last minutes from about 140 uh, until 1.44 p.m. I wonder what uh, time zone it is, depending on location. Um, but yeah, uh, I was, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me see what he's saying. Okay, yeah, I was going to also share with you this thing. Let me stop, share, share, window, share. So they get ready to, to launch this second thing as they uh, lie to you. Let me go over here. So there's the eclipse, and they're about to launch this second uh, missile. But yeah, there's the eclipse. 
So over in Illinois, from what I understand, uh, I'm here in Maryland. Uh, shoot, he probably is a sponsor, most likely. Uh, while, while we're uh, enjoying our time in the dark, because y'all love to be in the dark, I'm just picking on y'all. Um, and they haven't launched that rocket yet. But uh, yeah, wh while we uh, do that, now that we reach the hour and a half mark, I want to uh, go back and put some respect on the name of the family. Um, more people. Um, my brother Marquise, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, Juanita, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, Latressi, the best of Tress. Put some respect on her name. I see you. I love you. I appreciate. I appreciate you. Just want to kind of uh, put some respect on a family's name. Acknowledge all of the family. Yeah, no question. No question at all. Listen, no, no question at all. No question. But let me see uh, if they said anything about this. All right, hold on. Hold on. Share Chrome. The accelerometer R. Uh, this rocket. Still looking at the data of the ejectables, but it looks like all of them came out. And so they launched the first rocket, and it was a fluke. Besides it, you know, showing us it launching, they didn't show it. Well, I think they showed it going in the sky for like two seconds. They showed it going up in the sky for two seconds, and then they stopped showing it. So maybe uh, uh, YY Ziggy is asking being funny, or maybe, uh, you know, that's that's true. Hey, listen, ain't no rocket. That's the reality of it. Ain't no rocket, family. Ain't no rocket. That's right. Ain't no rocket at all. Whatever they're showing you right now is a fluke. They playing with us, family. They don't have the power to do something like that. Russia could probably do it. America can't do that. Right. That's what I want to know. Where is the rocket? Show me the money. Let me see what they say. They still not saying nothing. They still not saying nothing. Family, I'm thinking I want to take a screenshot of that dude in the, that black dude in the back. I want to see who that is. Do I know him? Where do I know him from? Let me take a screenshot of that. Okay, I took a screenshot of him. I'm going to show y'all what I be doing. And if this alarms you, then I'm, I apologize. Because what I am doing is borderline unethical. And I'm going to do it in front of you. Um, let me go here. I hit the camera. There's the camera. That picture I took, I'm about to drag and drop it. I just screenshotted a picture of this dude at NASA. That's the picture I did where I screenshotted the dude from NASA, and I can't get a good visual on his face. That's what I'd be doing. I will screenshot your joint and uh, search you on the internet. See, can I find you? I don't know who that is, but I would like to know. But yeah, now uh, NASA is showing some editing. Yeah, they, they, this is all editing. Now, this right here is real. It's in Chicago right now. If you are in Chicago, uh, well, actually here, can I can I get a uh, pulse check? Can I get a roll call? What city and state are you in? What city are you in? What state are you in? What coast are you on? What island are you on? What country are you in? Whatever you want to share, let me know. And is it dark where you're at? That's right. Where are you at? What's going on? Is it dark over there? It's, it's definitely... Wait, is it getting dark over here? No, nah, it's, it's, nah, it's not getting dark over here. But let me see. It. Nope, nothing. Now the family said it is getting dark over there. That's my brother Horace. Uh, he he's a master student. I trust his word. He said it's getting dark. It is getting dark. I believe him. But uh, Ohio said it's not dark yet. It's not dark in Ohio yet. Okay, bet that up. Bet that up. Uh, wait. The family said uh, L.A. is sunny. Somebody else in L.A. I saw somebody else just a second ago. Oh, Oakland. Uh, Oakland. Oakland said, "Yes, yeah, it's sunny as f." That's right. Uh, Northeast D.C. sunny, but being covered by chemtrails. Dag. D.C. took a hit today. 
but Jersey, okay, Jersey is getting dark. This is this is interesting. Okay, just that just more BS. Let me see. Um, who else? Who else said what? Wow, it's a temperature drop. Postmaster, where are you at? It's a temperature drop. It get all we gotta do is lose the sun for a couple of minutes and it get cold that quickly. I didn't know that family. I didn't know that. If the sun gets blocked out for just a couple of minutes, it gets that cold that quick. I didn't know that family. I didn't really know that. Well, you know, and, and you know, that, that is right. It does get colder at night. It does get colder at night. I just didn't really think about it, I guess, obviously. Um, I'm not saying obviously towards you. I'm saying, you know, I did be an absent mind. Excuse me. Dag, Georgia. Georgia's taking a hit right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me see what's going on over here. No. Uh, when are, see, this is the thing. They're not going to launch this damn rocket and they're not going to show us the, the damn rocket launch. I don't even want to watch the eclipse. The eclipse is whatever. I don't, I, I'm not really tripping on the eclipse. What, what they say about Philly. Philly is getting a little dark. Philly is going to do what? See, back to normal already. Texas is back to normal. Good vibes is in Texas. I know that for a fact. I remember H Town stand up uh, and it's back to normal that quickly. No sun at all. Very gloomy in Texas. Let me let me go back. Uh, it's dark outside in Birmingham, but they've been Kim trailing a lot today. I believe it, bro. Tell me what family. Press nine 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 if in his profile picture you can see Kim trails. Press nine 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 if you can see Kim trails in his profile picture. You can't make this up. Hold on, let me see about this rocket. Hold on, let me see what he's saying. Thirteen minutes. 13 minutes. Bro, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. I feel my brother's pain. A lot of y'all getting hit with them chemtrails right now, hard and heavy. And that right there be making me wonder, like, bro, why are they chemtrailing us down today? You know you don't, we know they spray chemtrails, but why are you spraying so many chemtrails today? That's what I want to know. Clips. We here in the Virginia Wallops region are going to get about an 81% totality around peak totality time, which is 1530-ish, 330? 322 will be the most we'll see at 81% here in the Wallops region. Uh, this mission is led by Dr. Aro Berjadia from right. Embry Riddle Aeronautical listen. University. All right, listen. All right. Remember, at the end of the movie, you gotta you, you gotta run the credits. At the end of the movie, you gotta run the credits. Listen, I don't want to hear about these people. Twelve minutes and counting to the second launch. APEP mission. You can see the ARC launcher here. We've done station checks are complete. We're awaiting final. Uh, launcher setting. Now, remember, when you're dealing with APAP, request from the RSO. Let me close that. The RSO safety close that. They will pass on the final settings. ROA, we just had an earthquake two days ago. Uh, as an acronym for we just had an earthquake two days ago. The magnitude of the earthquake was a 4.8. That 4.8 was a preview. In my opinion, my tinfoil hat being, uh, you know, wild imagination, the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that New York or the East Coast that rattled the East Coast two days ago at a 4.8 was a nod and a preview to get you ready for eight, for the fourth month and the eighth day, which is today. They already turned the CERN machine on. The CERN machine is running right now. 
They did not show us. They told us they were going to turn it on. They didn't show it. We went to CERN's website. We went to CERN's YouTube channel. I'm not going to CERN's TikTok. That's a joke. I don't know if CERN has a TikTok or not, but CERN uh, uh, turned on the machine. We just watched them launch that first rocket. They, they, they showed us the rocket leaving and they showed us maybe two minutes of the rocket in space. After that, they cut to mission control. They cut to mission control, and I'm going to have to say, I smell a rat. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 10 minutes and counting. Hold on. Hold on. 10 minutes and counting. Okay, audio on max. No, the, the sermon machine. Well, when you say been on, you've been on the last hour. It's been on the last hour. But the CERN machine turned turned off on two 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 two. Go look it up. ACS check four seven. February twenty second, two thousand twenty two was the last time the CERN machine ran. February twenty second, twenty twenty two was the last time the CERN machine ran. Go look it up. Don't be opinionated. Be informed. Copy. Do you have an idea for how long he's going to want to hold? Because I might need to get some more balloons up in the air. The intent is to hold for not more than five minutes. Would you need another balloon? So no more than five minutes hold? Is that my understanding? We're going to hold at three minutes for no more than five minutes and pick it up. I don't, I don't, oh, Big Black Biscuit. We'll okay. Big yeah. Black Biscuit, I featured on my channel. Uh, when we get to three minutes, if you would hold. This programmer. Uh, I can't get it. Anyway, shout out to Big Black Biscuit. Yeah, it's all Hollywood. It's all Hollywood. Uh, T minus three minutes. No later than five minutes from that. Roger, all what's your word, sir? RC DPN. This is RC go. No, well, th this is the thing. Brainstorming. Don't guess. If they're not going to tell you, then just say, hey, based off what they've told us, but anything else that you've imagined, I can't take that seriously. Okay, as we just heard, uh, the, the PI has requested a hold. At, See, uh, here we go. Three minutes. We're passing eight minutes now and counting. Once we get to three minutes, we're going to hold no longer than five minutes. Uh, our How, assumption is the PI is waiting. What do you mean you're going to hold? This is an eclipse. What is the eclipse going to wait for you? It's now or never, broski. You ain't going to have this opportunity for another thousand years. What are you talking about you're going to hold? You don't have that luxury of holding. It's now or never. This is your second rocket, and you failed to launch it because you lied about the first one, which exploded. The second rocket, now this one is malfunctioning. Remember, they, they already tried. Let me, let me see what they're saying. Hold on. Uh, with wanting ears as we approach uh, totality here at uh, 322 local in the Wallops, Virginia area. And we will hold at T minus three minutes. We are coming up on seven minutes now and counting. Okay. We will hold for no longer than five minutes. So let's listen okay. back to range control. We'll be you better tighten up. Here now as we are in the terminal count. And, here, I'm gonna pause this. Uh, they launched, they, they already tried this. They already tried this. Let me go back and, 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 and remind you. We're going to go with the official record. We're not going to make anything up. And if we do make something up, hey, I made this up. If we do imagine it, we're going to say we imagined it. There's no point in lying. There's no point in overselling anything. The APEP rockets launched on October 14th, 2023. APOP. Why are they doing that to me? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice getting dry, dry. Three identical payloads were launched during the annular eclipse occurring October 14th, 2023. First payloads was approximately 35 minutes before peak eclipse, the second at peak, and the third 35 minutes past peak. They already tried this three months ago and they failed. They tried this three months ago and they failed. I just showed you where they uh, blasted that first one off and they said it exploded. They said, don't go outside because there might be debris out there. Nobody on the live can confirm even in the state of Virginia that they ever seen anything go up in the sky. 
Now they're getting ready to la launch this second rocket and they're talking about hold family. You're lying. You don't have the tech. Uh, if y'all can hear his audio, can you press two? I don't know if I shared audio with you now. If you can hear his audio, press two. These three rockets are called APEP because they are, they have they, they, some type of no audio. Okay, let, let me let me stop sharing. Stop, share, share, Chrome, Eclipse. There we go. All right, so we should have audio now if they're saying anything. Through the host rockets communication system. Okay, so I, I'm going to pause it for a second. So with that said, yeah, they tried to launch these things. They're called APEP. APEP is the god of chaos, the god of darkness. So they're going to launch three rockets called APEP during an eclipse. And remember, APEP was the Egyptian god who was against the sun. Let me, let me hit audio. Really protected during launch. Rockets experience extreme heat, pressure, and vibrations during the launch. So payloads must be designed to withstand these conditions and the rigor they're about to be put through. The payload skin that contains the scientific... Right, so he's just talking some propaganda stuff. I, don't, I really don't, you know, want to uh, play the games or nothing like that. But yes, at the end of the day, three minutes. Three minutes, three minutes till they launch the second rocket. And again, I am one million percent sure they are not going to show it. We're going to show it on live. No, you're not. You didn't show the first one. Let's see if they show the second one. They're coming up now in three minutes, 15 seconds, and we'll expect to hold and listen in to range on you. Come on, come on, give me the lies. Come on, give me the lies. Family, I was going to ask y'all if you could please go to my YouTube channel, YouTube University, and go subscribe there. That will be my main channel after today, hopefully. If uh, the goal is 500 subscribers. If we can get that 500 subscriber number today, then uh, I will go over there permanently, and this will only be the uh, promotional channel, and I'll I'll do all my my good stuff over there. So yeah, go uh, hit that subscribe button, check that out. Uh, all of my mods, if you could just kind of share this in the in the comments spor uh, sporadically. All right, let's turn the volume up and see what lies they tell telling. Current plan still is to pick up the count at 3.22, which is which would be the five-minute hold from 17 to 20. That's the current plan. Omaha, Nebraska, outside looks sunny but dim. Okay, absolutely. How does it feel? Is it cold out there? Has the temperature changed? TD, the planned new T0 is 15.25. You copy? 15.25. Programmer copies as well, TD. RSO, do you copy? So as we just heard, uh, SRPO polled poll the PI, who is our principal investigator, that's Dr. Brajadia, and he wishes to go to the end of the window, five minutes uh, as the maximum hold they had indicated earlier. So we will go to that, putting our new T0 at 325 p.m. local and uh, 1925 GMT. Zulu time. I want to take this chance to talk about some of the teams. No, don't, 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 don't tell me nothing. It's just see, this is the thing. You want to tell me every little thing and all the little details and all the distractions and all the propaganda. Why don't you show me that rocket going all the way up into space? Why don't you show that? And you know, I want to ask the listening audience if you want to see this rocket go all the way up as high as they can possibly get it, could you drop your favorite emoji? Drop your favorite emoji if you want them to actually show the rocket going up as far as they can get it, and you don't want them to cut to mission control. Let me find my favorite emoji. 
because I'm about to turn up on somebody. I'm about to turn up on somebody. This is this is one of my favorite emojis. Bingo. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want you guys to, to, to talk me to death. I don't want to see no editing. I don't want to see no CGI. I don't want to, I don't want to see mission control. I don't want to see PR. If you really going to launch this rocket and you talking about, you're going to go live, show the darn rocket. But here, this is the reality. This is the, re when people say that's cap. How are you going to argue with that? You can't. You can't argue with that. You can't, you, you can't argue with that. Listen, family. All I'm saying is if you're going to play like transparency, don't be upset when people are looking for transparency. Hold on. Let me, let, let me do an audio check, see what they're saying. From T0, once we pick up the count. 1525 is confirmed for our next T0. So let's listen in at range control. They went silent. I got the audio on. They went silent. See? See? family and oh crumb you got a 10 for your hat fine i got a 10 for your hat but this this don't pass the smell test you're not showing this cern made the announcement that they were going to turn on the machine today and then cern went dark cern made the announcement that they were going to turn the machine on today and then cern went dark i'll say this if you're looking at the monitor straight ahead of us looks like we got individuals that are on the hook that shouldn't be or so is uh looking at it to determine whether we're green or red at this time bs i'm calling bs i'm call oh the family say it went dim in chicago the family saying it went dim in chicago chicago let me know well flip let me put some respect on his name flip did the temperature change how does it how does it feel out there did the temperature change I'm just asking for boots on the ground, people who are actually outside or at least can see outside. But if you are outside, you know, at least, just, you know, let me know what changes have you seen? Is it a lot of chemtrails? Can you see the sun? You know, whatever you can offer me, you know, I don't want to ask too much. Please forgive me. See? See? I'm not going to lie. Jordan, I can you zoom in? We can see how many people are in there. It do seem like today they've been going hard on these damn chemtrails. Zoom in on, on which camera? Flare. Stand by. The Florida King says in Florida. Uh, 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 Florida King, are you in uh, north, in central, here, or south come. Florida? Yep. PLC check 491. So we need to know whether you're going to hold us or not. I think this, is, I think this, is, this is BS. This is BS. I didn't even know you were in Toronto, Zen. PLC check 492. Yeah, check 493. Report TM lock and verify no change in TM signal strength. Stand by. RC, DPM. RC, go. TDR, so we are within values. PTM check 499. RC confirm no change. 10 degrees. No change in This is not funny. This is but it but it is funny. It's at Kim Trail City. Actual long term settings are as one zero zero decimal nine, elevation seven nine decimal three. He said it got tinted. I like that. He said it got tinted. That's right. All right, they about to launch it. They about to launch it. Let's wait for the lies. Yes, check five hundred two. Let's wait for the lie. Experiment, you go. Experiment, go. PLC. 
PLC, go. KTM? Go. STM? Go. ACS? Go. PI? Go, go, go. SRPO? Go. Check 503504. Army verified. Check item 510. 20. Launch the damn rocket. Five, one, two, go. <laughs> Mr. East. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Radar subtracted. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six the Mississippi, seven. Oh shit! They showing it. Success, and our second vehicle has left the rail of the ARC Radar launcher here, on live from Wallace Flight Facility in Virginia. As part of the APEP launches, a three rocket salvo that the uh, NASA Wallace Flight Facility is launching today, in conjunction with Dr. Aro Brajadia from the Embry Riddle Aeronautical University in Florida. APEP, of course, is an acronym. Uh, atmospheric perturbations around the eclipse path. We are launching three rockets today, four sub payloads on each for a total of uh, 12 uh, different data sets that will be collected today and uh, back to the universities and academia for study in our ionosphere. Let's listen in as we're in the plus count and we take a look in the RCC. Bottom of the screen center is our PI, Dr. Brajatia and his science team. That was BS. That was BS. I I thought that thing was going to keep going straight up. I thought that was going to, I was looking for a lot. Bro, at one point in time, that was a lateral trajectory. We don't need lateral. We need vertical. <laughs> we need vertical, not lateral. What was that? What the F was that? That, I told you that first one blew up. They shot those first three, October 14th, 2023, and tried to thread the needle, and they failed all three times. Today, they shot that first rocket, and it exploded. They shot the second rocket, and as you can see, it curved. We're looking for vertical trajectory, and all you got was a lateral trajectory. The Furman is up, not that way. The Furman is up, not that way. Where, where did that rocket go? That rocket looked like it went to Jamaica. <laughs> that rocket looked like it went to Jamaica. <laughs> Last time I checked, space was up. Why'd you send it that way? Family? If what we saw was jive, can somebody please drop your favorite emoji? If that was jive, oh, crummy, it was, I'd be trying to say, oh, no, no, it's not a distraction. It's, you know, but family, that joint looked like a distraction. That joint looked like a distraction to me. That, that 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 joint looked fake. Right, that joint that joint went to Jamaica, bro. You went the wrong way. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Right. Nothing to see here, folks. Back to P Diddy. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Back to P Diddy. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Nah, bro. Nah. Family, please, if you are in Virginia, right now in the comments, let us know. Press, I don't even know, AAA. If you did not see it, if you are in, if you are anywhere near Virginia, if you're in Virginia, if you're in Washington, D.C., if your ass is in Maryland, if your ass is in North Carolina, if your ass is in Tennessee, press, if you did not see a rocket, so, somebody, did you see a rocket? I need to know, did somebody see a rocket? Nobody saw the rocket. Nobody saw the rocket. 
I'm not sure if what we saw was even real. Yeah, somebody go check Jamaica. Somebody go check Jamaica. I didn't, I didn't see no rocket. I ain't seen no rocket. Nobody saw the rocket. The only place we saw the rocket was on TV. Okay. 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 I just want to make sure. I just got word we might want to go check Haiti. We may want to go check Haiti. Family, that, that, that could be fake footage. I don't know. That could be fake footage. If what we watch right then could have been fake foot, bro, that could have been fake footage. I, I don't even know. I don't know, bro. I didn't see it. Bro, I would not be one bit surprised. Remember, this is the tell lie vision. Egyptian deity, I see you change your profile picture too. Uh, really nice. Good job. Listen, it, it's hard to argue when somebody says like this, when they do things like this. It's hard to argue with people like this when they do things like this. I don't know, family. Yeah, it, 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 this joint, it do look like a pump fake. It looked like some jive. Listen, we got boots on the ground. This is a master student. She's not a random person who's just popping up. She's a master student. Boots on the ground. The only place anybody saw a damn rocket was on YouTube. Bro, I don't know. I don't know. Like, bro, like this shit. I'm sorry for cursing. Excuse me. This stuff feel like the Truman Show, bro. This really just feel like the Truman Show to me. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just on some tin for your hat weird stuff, but it just, it just feel like the Truman Show. Yeah, somebody check Russia. But this right here, bro, you know, I really hate to be one of these. Here, hold on, hold on. We, we just reached the two hour mark. We just reached the two hour mark. I want to put some respect on the name of the people who support me. Uh, Juanita, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. It means everything to have your support. Um, let me see who else I got here. Um, I, I said that person already. Um, do, 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 do. Sharice, I see you. I love you. I appreciate you. Montreal, Kiki, Joseph, um, Demetria, I, I see all of the family. I love you. I appreciate you for taking the dollar challenge by donating a dollar to the Cash App. It means everything to me. If you donate that dollar, I will give you a shout out. But um, this, I'm not past the pork chop. So if you simply hit the like button, that means everything to me. Uh, so hit the like button, family. Uh, I appreciate all the support. We've got one more rocket to go. I have to be 1 million percent honest with you. Listen, we are at the two hour mark. I'm not, I don't, I really don't feel like watching this, this last rocket. I, matter of fact, here, you let me know. I laid, laid, I, I laid down in my backyard and saw three things pass. Uh, Crumb, uh, this is Histofunk. Uh, I laid down in my backyard and saw three things pass by two whole figures and one partial figure. I'm in LA. Listen, family, Histo Funk don't got no reason to lie. Histo Funk don't got no... Family, I, I, my biggest question right now is what's going on with CERN? Uh, uh, the family said, where's the cash app? The, ca the cash app is actually in a ticker uh, directly below us. Um, it's, uh, let me see, it's actually right there and it should be coming over here in just a second. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, support right there. Uh, Everett Williams. And I love that profile picture. Uh, peace and love. Thank you in advance for uh, whatever you whatever whatever you decide to uh, send over as a pledge of support it means everything. OK, so, yeah, with that said, family, um, I'm going to end it at the two hour mark. I'm not going to sit around and watch this third rocket. Uh Last year, those three rockets were a flop. This year, I'm not even going to wait for the last one, but unless some shards of glass break and they pop that firmament, I'm not going live again today.
unless they break the firmament, I'm not going live again today. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. Uh, Money Sign Crumb TV. Uh, shout out to Marcia Owens Harris. Um, uh, she is tapped in, all the way tapped in. Um, does a lot of different things. Uh, looking for that next batch of magnesium butter. Y'all tap all the way in. Uh, but yeah, with that said, family, um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. I want to put the link in. I want to ask my mods if you could share this link. Um, please, 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 before I close out the live, I do have a new YouTube channel. I wanted to ask if you uh, could support me over there by simply hitting the subscribe button. It's free. It's easy. It takes a second. It works for the algorithm. I'm going to be doing about a lot of things over there. I will be monetized over there. So if you want to donate, that's fine. But you know, the family, uh, um, the, the the business will operate and fund itself going forward. So uh, hopefully we can get 500 subscribers today. Uh, the link is in the description if my mods can pass that around. Um, and all my mods coming over, you got my mods. I expect you to subscribe over there because you're going to be mods over there, uh, obviously. So uh, tap all the way in. All right. So family, uh, this has been another installation of Crumb TV. I'm your humble brother, Crumb. I've given you two hours. Um, hopefully I can come back. If I come back and if I talk about this, the next time I talk about this, we're going to see what lies CERN put out. I'm going to go on CERN right now, their website. I'm going to request the footage of whatever happened today and when and if they give me the footage, I will come and report back to you and let you know what they were doing today. Um, so subscribe here, subscribe there, subscribe everywhere, uh, hit the like button and um, stay tuned for the next one. I want to leave you. That's right, family. Uh, this is the end. The exact same way I came to you. I'm your humble brother, Crumb, and you are now watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. You are watching Crumb TV. This is Prema Asset in Los Angeles, Lemur Park, and you are now watching Crumb TV. You are watching Crumb TV. We're watching Crumb TV. You are now watching Crumb TV. So subscribe. Look. I am the Grand Sheikis, uh, Unity Temple number 80, more Science Temple of America, and you are watching Crumb TV. Yo, this is that kid 179. You are now watching Crumb TV. Crumb.